once again welcome uh, the principal secretary uh, climate change gujarat uh, government of gujarat and also all my colleagues and office bearers at sent as well as the djmt as all of us are aware climate change is really an emerging issue now everybody is talking about that in different sectors in terms of technology in terms of education and most importantly in terms of the research and many of the technological institutes particularly in the outside world have multiple courses in climate change with its impact on social social effects as well as the health effects as well as different studies related to the mitigation or the uh, sort of uh, uh, how you adapt to that particular climate change so we thought uh, now djmt is well settled organization now more than 11 years old and having postgraduate courses in electrical and mechanical engineering and graduate course also in civil engineering so it is really an interdisciplinary issue and with the available expertise as well as the uh, will of the administrative body that is the sent uh, we thought it is a right time that we should have some research development activities as well as education activities in the field of climate change now when we see the climate change one of the important factor is the energy and naturally gujarat being the most industrialized city uh, and a lot of focus has been given by the government of gujarat on energy both in the demand and supply side and i think energy efficiency is always tagged with the uh, mitigation aspects of the climate change so we have uh, decided that this particular center which is aptly named as azac actually uh, will deal with the research development in uh, in the climate change and also the energy efficiency in particular it also has an ambitious aim that the local community per se which is in the nearby area will be benefited by this research by adopting certain new techniques and new technologies particularly in the construction or even maybe in the engineering sector like electrical and mechanical so basically the community is at the center stage of the entire development program of the center so in the initial one year uh, in fact we have uh, we are lucky to get so many good uh names big names in the field of climate change as well as energy on our advisory board already the uh, uh, lawrence laboratory uh, butler laboratory is already on the uh, on the job on the board and we also have various experts from usa uh, who will be supporting this center in a very big way so in the first year we plan to uh, start with uh, some research activities at the graduation and post graduation level so that there is a database which is created and we are also trying to participate in various research activities and particularly the ict activities in climate change which will definitely benefit the local community per se so with this background i once again welcome all the all the uh, uh, dignitaries and definitely ensure that uh, this particular center will will be definitely helpful for the sustainable development of the state of gujarat thank you ladies and gentlemen greetings to one and all at the outset i would like to take this opportunity to congratulate dr jeevraj mehta institute of technology for initiating the e launch of anand institute for studies in energy efficiency and climate change the present situation of corona virus pandemic has made it necessary to meet all of you through this virtual platform and therefore we are launching this institute on electronic mode however this electronic mode is environment friendly and we shall explore new ways to reduce our carbon footprint by innovative approach in our daily life i am sure this initiative of establishing this institute will work in the direction moreover the present covid-19 pandemic has made us think and act comprehensively towards sustainable development perhaps necessitating a paradigm shift acknowledging the due importance and seriousness of global climate concerns gujarat 
took the lead and established an independent department for climate change under the visionary leadership of our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi who was at that point of time honorable chief minister of gujarat our department completed a decade of its establishment and with its continuing efforts towards low carbon and inclusive development in the state we are relentlessly marching ahead and it is very encouraging to see more and more stakeholders joining us in this noble cause i would like to uh, thank ajay adil sir for uh, taking out this time from his busy schedule and for sharing the the details of the various activities which are undertaken by the climate department of government of gujarat and uh, thank you sir for your motivational words and for your support thank you thank you very much and i would take leave with the permission of all thank you